Hey guys, same from my shop, my stash for July. I know in June I was kind of all over the place and wasn't feeling super inspired by my makeup, but in the past month I had my baby, so I didn't wear makeup for a couple of weeks. Now I'm back to work, now I'm wearing makeup again, so I'm feeling more excited and inspired to use some different things. And I am gonna be pulling out a little bit more than normal because I wanna have some things for filming and then some more like neutral, everyday sort of makeup that I wanna switch out as well. And also since last time I have started my summer project pan so I can show you those items, mostly complexion products. But I do have some new things I want to use this month and make sure to give some love to some older products in my collection. So first I'm going to show you what I have in my everyday basket for primer using the Murad Oil and Pore Control Mattifier. For foundation, I'm using the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Foundation Matte and Fair, which is a little dark for me, so I'm deciding to mix it with the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation and Light Zero Siberia. And this gets a pretty good color match for me. For my under eyes, I'm using this Milani Conceal and Perfect Corrector in number two, Melon. And this combination of concealers. So mostly using the NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum in Light, but I want it to be a little bit more brightening. So I'm using a touch of the Benefit Boing Cakeless Concealer in shade number one on top. Four powders under my eyes using my Dermabland Loose Powder. You can tell I'm almost out of this. And then in this NYX container, I have a mix of the Too Faced Peach Perfect Powder and the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder in Fair because this does tend to deepen the look of my foundation. So mixing these two powders and mixing those two foundations gives me a pretty good skin tone match. And I literally am so used to mixing things, it does not bother me. I did not put it in here, but in a little sample jar, I have what is left of my Iconic London Liquid Bronzer. And then on a daily basis, I've also been using the Flower Spotlight Liquid Highlight in Opal. And then for setting spray, I'm using the Too Faced Peach Perfect peach mist, but I have it in this Urban Decay packaging. Also for face, I forgot to mention this, it looked like a palette. This is the Natasha Denona Bloom Blush and Glow palette. This is in my summer project pan. For brows, still using my NYX Eyebrow Shaper Wax Pencil, but I think this will be its last month. And my Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil, I just finished it this morning, but I have some backup, so I'll just pick uh, another one from there. And then I've got the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil in 2.5 and the Kosas Air Brow Gel in Honey Blonde. For eye primer, still using the Urban Decay Original Primer Potion for work makeup and the Anastasia Eye Primer for filming makeup. And I'm getting pretty low on both of these, especially the Urban Decay. I set the primer under my brow bone with a matte white powder from Illamasqua that I repressed into an eyeshadow pan, but it broke. So I have it on my desk because I need to repress it and add in some more product while I'm at it. And then I'm using the e.l.f. Camo Powder Foundation in Fair 120 in to set the primer in my crease. And I'm also using this to help brighten my face if needed. Using the Balm Batter Up Shadow Stick in Curveball as my everyday base. I have my Anastasia Birkin and Bengal and the Aether Beauty Citrine Crystal Quad, which are just my go-to warm tone mattes. I dipped into these a little bit over the past month and I just keep them in here for if I'm going to need them. For liners, these are in my summer project as well. ColourPop Brick L and the Too Faced Killer Liner in Killer Turquoise. So for mascara, I am still using the Lancome Sills Booster XL Mascara Primer. And then for my bottom lashes, the MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash. But I do need to pull some regular mascaras to use. And then from my most recent haul, these are the makeup products. And then for my most recent haul, these are most of the makeup products that I brought in and I haven't put them in the drawers yet. I just left them in this basket. I'm not gonna pull all of them this month. Some of them I'll use next month, but I'll just grab from here and show you as we're going through the different categories. 
So in this first drawer, we have primer, foundation, concealer, and my cream and liquid bronzers. And I am gonna be taking two things from my new basket down here to use. The first being the Too Faced Born This Way Healthy Glow Moisturizing Skin Tint in the shade Snow. I've heard that this is actually not that moisturizing, so I'm hoping it'll be good for my skin type, and I'm hoping this will be a good shade for me because Swan is my perfect color with Too Faced, but they don't make that shade in the skin tint. And then I also wanna try this for liquid bronzer, the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. I had this in number six before and it was just too dark for me. So I got it in five, which is medium tan. So hopefully this shade will work better for me. Then we have powders, bronzers, and highlights. Not picking a powder. And for bronzer, I'm gonna pick a couple options here. So, First, I didn't use this that long ago because I tested it when I bought it during the Sephora spring sale, but I do feel like it's good for summer, so I want to get more use out of it. This is the Kosas Sun Show Bronzer in Beachy, which is the second shade. I was really kind of torn between this one and the lightest color, Waves, and I thought Waves was too light, but watching Lauren May Beauty use it makes me want to get it too, which I know I shouldn't, but I feel like it would look so pretty. <sighs> That's a problem for me to think about fall sale, but definitely want to get more use out of this. I hate the smell of it. Like why do powder products have to smell funky? But this does look like a nice glowy bronzer for summer. And then this Vesco bronzer is something I previously used in fall, but the color is a little dark and pretty pigmented. So I'm thinking maybe summer would be best. Again, I have so many bronzers. I'm trying to, you know, really get some use out of them and reconfigure some seasons. So this is the Vesca bronzer in Kiss by Santorini. I think it is the second lightest shade and Vesca has gone out of business, but this is a really nice formula and color. For highlighter, I wanna pick two as well. First, I wanna take one of these Sigma highlighters. This one is the shade Savannah. This is too dark for me other times of year. And then I also want to use an Ofra highlighter. And this is a limited edition collab from a couple years ago that was made with Madison Miller. The shade is called Mood Dance, so it's a little lighter and icier in comparison. For blush, this drawer is a mess and I'm wanting to pick out a lot of blushes. I'm gonna have a set for filming and a set for work makeup. Work makeup are ones that I'm still trying to make my mind up about or don't want to go neglected and the ones for film I'm thinking I'm wanting to use some things that are newer or I just feel more excited about so it's about to be a lot of blush but I did just get several new blushes I just bought four RMS blushes but I'm gonna save those for next month because I have these three other blushes that I really want to use I have one of the Dior blushes in Rosewood. I feel so fancy for even having this. The Say Glow Sculpt in Peach Glow. And the Makeup by Mario Soft Pop Plumping Blush Veil in Just Peachy. And then some other blushes that are not exactly new, but I just feel excited to use would be these two Sigma blushes. I love my Sigma blushes so much. So the matte color I have is Sunset Kiss. And the shimmer one I have is Tiger Lily. And then I also wanna use this House Labs blush more. This was very pricey. And I also think I'm gonna finally commit to throwing away the box. And this is the shade Pomelo Peach. Then for work makeup, because I had my baby so early, I took a month off of work. I really did not get the use I was wanting out of these Nabla blushes. So I am going to put them all in. So we have Lola, Truth, and Independence. And then I feel like I've really neglected some of these limited edition MAC blushes. This is MAC Sideshow You from the Simpsons collection. Sweet, Sweet Fantasy from the Mariah Carey collection. Painted Canyon. I cannot remember the name of this collection, but I know it was very controversial because we have Native American inspired packaging, but they tried to say that this was a music festival inspired collection. 
And then MAC Ripe for Love from the Temperature Rising Collection. This packaging is sticky and starting to peel. I have no idea why it is unfortunate I've been sitting in this drawer for a long time unused, but whoo, that was a lot of blush, but I'm feeling excited about it. I definitely can use all of these, even for my filming blushes. If I just use them once, that is fine, but I feel good about picking this many blushes. I don't yet feel overwhelmed. And now you get to see my backup drawer of shame. It is a bit of a hot mess in here, so forgive that, but I am going to be grabbing another Precisely My Brow pencil from here. So I'm going to be taking shade number two, Warm Golden Blonde. And this is something that I purchased recently that I went to test out the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Powder in to Warm Golden Blonde. Although it doesn't look that color in the pan, but we'll see how it performs. So coming over to the right hand side of the drawers here, I have my shadow sticks and pencil liners. I'm not going to be picking any pencil liners now. I do have some other ones that I like for summer, but I'll just save those for next month. But I do need to pick out some new mascaras. I did go to my spreadsheet to see what were some of the older ones. And then I'm trying to pair a more lengthening and volumizing mascara together. So we'll see how this combo works, but I'm going to try the Urban Decay Lash Freak, which even though it has a plastic brush, it just, from what I've heard, I feel like is like a little clumpier. And then I know the Benefit Roller Lash is a little bit more natural and good for length and separation. So I'm thinking that these will go well together. So we'll see. I'll show you the brushes on the mascara wands. Oh gosh, this one looks crazy. This is Urban Decay Lash Freak and Benefit Roller Lash. So for my more fun palettes, I wanna pick some indies that I have not used. I need your all's recommendations for color combos with this. This is Adept Cosmetics House of L and this is like a Superman palette. These shades are way out of my comfort zone, but look so fun. So please, please help me figure out what to do with this. And then another unused indie palette for me would be the Odin's Eye Solmon 2. I know I love the Odin's Eye formula, so I'm so excited to play with this palette. I would love your color combo recommendations here as well. And while my camera just overheated, I went ahead to pull out my neutral palettes for work because they were way back here. And you can see this drawer is just totally full so I want to use some of my Sigma palettes. So this one is the Ambiance palette. Some really great, more like gold, bronzy shades, warm tone mattes. And then for some with a little more color, the Sigma Corde Rosa palette. And then for lips, I'm actually gonna do something different. In my drawer, I'm gonna put all the rest of my summer lip products that I have not used yet because I'm going to just try on some different colors after I do my makeup or, you know, swatch some things and see just what I feel like goes with the different makeup looks that I do. So I feel like it's going to look like a really full drawer, but I'm hoping this is going to work better for me than trying to think things out ahead of time because with the makeup looks I did do this past month, I did not use a lot of the lip products that I had picked because I didn't necessarily feel like they went together. So I'm just gonna run through and show you everything here. So we mostly have glosses here except for these things. So this is a MAC Glow Play Lip Balm in Floral Coral, which is a very light tint. M Cosmetics Lip Cushion in On Gel. Rare Beauty Kind Words Lipstick in Humble. And the Dose of Colors Liquid Lipsticks in Flirty and Warm and Fuzzy. Then for some of my more bronzy glosses, Lawless Forget the Filler in Cali Sunset, Lunar Beauty Starlight, Fenty Gloss Balm in Fenty Glow. You can see this is just a mini. And then this Milani Keep It Full Nourishing Lip Plumper in Rosy Bronze. Then more of that Popsicle effect lip gloss would be the Fenty Gloss Balm Heat in Hot Cherry, Tower 28 Lip Jelly in XOXO, and the Lawless Forget the Filler Gloss in Cherry Vanilla. And then just for some like wearable glosses with color, the Merit Lip Oil in Pink Beet, 
Buxom Full on Plumping Lip Cream in Melon Mimosa and the Maybelline Lifter Glosses in Reef and Amber. I will definitely have to let you know next month what I ended up using. I'll definitely do that for the lip products, let you know what I used. And we'll see how overwhelmed I was with the way I went about this. But let me show you everything in the drawers. Before I show you the things put away in the drawer, these are the things that are going to be for the mascara and brow products added to my little everyday basket. And then these are the blushes, bronzer, highlighter, and palettes that I have selected for my work makeup, which I will be storing in the little storage organizer that I have on my vanity in the bedroom where I'm doing my work makeup currently. So here we have my half full, half empty <laughs> drawers. So for complexion, I just have the Too Faced Skin Tint and the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Bronzer. Cheeks is looking much fuller. So I, for now, I'm gonna say for filming, I'll use my Vesca bronzer and the Ofra highlight, but I'll probably switch back and forth. But I feel like the other colors might be better for me for work, but we'll see. And then the blushes that I told you I was going to use for filming. Then here is my lip drawer, which is very full. I had to stack the glosses a little bit. Definitely looking forward to seeing if this is a good thing or was going to be overwhelming. And then I have my two colorful palettes to the side. So guys, this was my Shop My Stash for July. I'm feeling excited and inspired, so hopefully that keeps with me throughout the month. I really missed wearing makeup, so I'm happy to hopefully get more consistent with filming again. It's hard to work out, but I will at least be wearing makeup for work. So that is definitely exciting, but I would love to know what makeup you guys are wearing this month. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye guys.